Hi, everybody. Thanks for taking time out of your day to check out the live broadcast. Replayers, thank you for taking time to check out what you might have missed. And, of course, anytime during the broadcast, if you have any questions or concerns, please ask right here. Otherwise, if you're anonymous or you like to be bashful and you want to ask me off camera, then please go ahead and do so. And by the various ways of connecting with me on social media, on our website, or on chat. Hi, Sandra. Thank you for being part of our live broadcast on, on Facebook and on Instagram. So my name is Tony. I'm one of the founders of Free Needy Wilmington, a nonprofit public, which means whatever items we receive, obtain, go right back in the community. So I want to get on here real quick and just zoom through real quick to give you guys a quick update. Again, everything that you guys see on social media <clears throat> has been updated on our website. So if you are one of those people that just don't like social media and it's hard to grasp, but you want to catch something that you missed, especially something that I broadcasted, you can go to our website and you can go ahead and check right there and you'll see all the videos there on our YouTube channel. You'll see all the information I'm talking about. You'll see all the things that I'm going to show you are on there. You can go ahead off your phone or off your tablet or even on your computer. And that way you can see what's going on. So let's get into this. So us as a grassroots movement, we try to work and help things, help things that are just not right. And what we do is we try to do things um, to make it a little bit better. And we, as far as a nonprofit uh, grassroots, we work on a premise of which is called Maslow's, uh, excuse me, I got that backwards, Maslow's uh, Anarchy and Needs. And what we do is that there's different ways of a level that you have to achieve in order to be considered well-rounded and well-adjusted. Well, on our premise that we try to just really work on before you can get to any of the other things here is having just the basic necessities, able to breathe, have water, have food, have a place to, to, to rest, uh, a place to go ahead and have uh, to dress, have clothes on your back, have food. And so when you have those basic necessities and you know that's going to be your next day and this house is going to be the next day and the next day, then you can work on all the other things that come that come together, like, you know, considering, you know, your safety and your security and your love and then your belonging and self-esteem, et cetera, check it out. You can go on Amazon. You can go and just Google as those uh, Anarchy needs, and it tells you more about it. Uh, and pretty much, like I said, if you just can't jump to one of these, if you don't know where you're going to be, where you're going to be eating, where you're going to be sleeping. So that's the reason why we're trying to do that today, guys, and we need your help. So working with the uh, teachers, students, uh, coaches, PSAs, the people, um, uh, student advocates, uh, support aides, counselors, pilot centers, you name it. We uh, work with them. They've been vetted. They've been checked out and everything. And they sit down with the students and they tell them their whole story. And so there's things that are going on in their lives that are not considered the normal, just like us. And they need a little bit of help along with the family. So when we take a family and we put it out there, we help the whole family, not just the student, not just the siblings left on the side, the whole family, because that way it doesn't just affect the student. Uh, if they're just being singled out, it also helps their brothers, it helps their sisters, it helps their nephews, helps whoever's in the household, uncles, aunts, moms, dad, what have you. And then they can go ahead and just be students and they can do the, the best can the best way they can by excelling and everybody in the family thrives. In order to do that, we work with something very small that we try to start with. It's called the Hope Closet. And the whole closet was very, very successful, but then COVID kicked in and just messed everything up and made everything slow down. Things had changed, protocols, things that, that, that were once allowed cannot be done anymore. And the whole closet went completely bare. Last year, when we did the guest stuff box 
and we did Thanksgiving. We did really, really well. We had abundance of food. We were able to give everybody a good Thanksgiving meal plus extra food and snacks. So that way, when they're on their one week on vacation in the fall, that they have something to snack on to eat because they don't have access to the breakfast or lunch. Even though they're in a title school, they don't offer that when they're on vacation. They did it COVID, but now they don't do that anymore. So this is why it's really important that we have this set up so that way they can still continue what they need to do and they don't have to worry about the little things. And the reason why we ask you guys to help us do this, because this is feasible and doable, and we did it once before. And we did this with the help with you guys, because a lot of the things that you guys buy, you go buy with your grocery stuff, you go to Dollar Tree, you go to 99 cents only, you go to Big Lots, you go to Aldi on the on the sale aisle, you go to, you know, um, Albertsons or what have you, and you look for those deals, you look for those bargains, and you guys donated it, and it was very, very possible to make that happen, and it was abundant. Anytime a kid needed shampoo, conditioner, something to snack on, whatever, because the last meal was the, the night before, or they just happened to be, you know, um, you know, burn through nutrition and energy really quick and needed another bite, then it was able to do that. Well, now we need to do this for the guest stuff box so we can go ahead and get their meal and stuff like that. So it's been extended to Wednesday, December the 20th, and we need to fill up the box to get these kind of items. These are for items that we, uh, they're on the, on the website. You can go ahead and check it out. And this is so stuff to, for if somebody has no kitchen and they live in a room and they only have a heating plate uh, to heat up or hot plate, as you call it, a microwave. And these are all feasible stuff that you can do with this and still have a meal and able to do that. And we provide a gift card or ask for a gift card for their main meal so that way they have it all encompassed. If you want to help out the ones that don't have a restriction and they just have the stove, I'm trying to make sure I cover everybody because we're on three cameras, then we can go ahead and make sure that we get everything covered here as traditional stuff that you would normally get and they can go ahead and heat it up and what have you can keep stuff, um, uh, you know, um, when they make it. And so that's why I'm saying there's two ways to do this. Again, it doesn't have to be expensive, especially when everybody does a little bit to make it happen, to make it possible. Everybody does their little bit by just the most of anything. If I was to sit here and buy all this just for one household, one of everything, the most you'd probably be paying, if you're lucky, is maybe 15, 20 bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's roughly 15, 15 bucks, and the water is like two. So let's say $20, $25. Okay, and this one, a little bit more, of course. And, of course, these things don't have to be name brand. They can be off-brand, of course, plain wrap. Um, Certigo is a made by Certified. Uh, that's a very good company. All they do is take all these name brands, and they just put a plain wrap on it. Springfield, same thing. It's the same company that does all this. And they just put it in a plain wrap, and it's just as good quality as the ones with the, with the name on it. They just make it for a less price, so mm -hmm. that way... They can go ahead and have somebody to um, um, uh, able to afford those kind of those kind of products. Operation Pilot Wheel. Again, when you guys see the list, you'll see a, a list on there that says you know all the sizes, and you're wondering what that all is about. The only asking is for clothes, guys. They don't want nothing expensive. They don't want toys. They don't want any of that plastic stuff. They don't want anything that's you know electronic. They just want clothes. Things that we sit there and we put on every day to start our day fresh. You know, clean clothes, wash clothes, new clothes after they're frailed. They don't have that. They wear clothes that maybe not they haven't been washed in two days, even though they would like to have it washed every day. Just don't, just can't do it. Some people just don't have the means to go ahead and do that. And what we take for granted, all they're asking for this, and all these things that you see here are easy to go ahead and get at DD Discounts. You can get this at um, Ross. You can get this at um, I mentioned Ross DD Marshalls. Those are good places. Sometimes they have sales at Kohl's with the dollar cash and all that stuff. Everybody might think, oh, well, that's a lot and all that. Well, that's okay. If it is too much for you, then that's why you say it's just make a monetary donation. Okay? Make a monetary donation as little as, as 25 cents because it makes sense because any change you give makes the season change. It's that simple. We've done it for five years. It has worked. We know it's there. It's just a matter of just wanting to do it. I come only on here, guys, because there's a need and I'm just needing your help to fulfill it. I'm sorry that these things might bother and some might hurt. And in a way, it's supposed to. Because the thing is, 
These are things that shouldn't be happening and it's happening in our backyard. It's happening in our community and it's just getting, and it's just getting by us. And unless we grab it by the horns, as they can say, and, and make a difference and change something, then it's not going to change. So we do this to help them out. And I do my very, very best, 99.9% .9 of transparency of everything that comes in goes right back out. If anybody who knows who I am and Ms. Rodriguez is, we've been doing this since 2016. I've been part of the Thanksgiving thing since 2016, oh, excuse me, 2011. Oh, my God. 2011. Uh, and then, of course, they were doing on their own before Miss Rodriguez, just a Thanksgiving. So what we do is really, really caring, dearing, uh, trying to make a difference. And then we decided to do this year round when I stuck my nose in this because I saw the community needed not just on Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving Day serving a meal. But this is stuff that goes on that gets overlooked. They, they go out with that without that. Remember, guys. Banning High School never had any of this until we started in Needy Wilmington. This is not something that's been established a long time ago. I established it. We established this. Okay? So imagine that years past, even though they might be other organizations doing what they do, doesn't mean they automatically get the need. These are things are set up as they should with guidance counselors and, and, and student counselors and uh, you know, people that help out with, you know, special needs and things like that, helping them out and see what their need is. Why are they, you know, suffering as they are? Why are they not doing well in school? Why are they not participating? Whatever. And we finding out is because there's not enough food. There's clothes. My, my dad's not working. There's not enough food to go around. The last time I ate was a day ago. The last time I ate was maybe this morning or, or there's a special, special need in the household. They're sick and they're, all the money that they have is going to to them and we're not eating the story goes on and on and on and this is a, something that we started so this is not just something established okay we established it because we saw the need we saw that it needed to be fine-tuned and everything and we did and that's why it's working every year it keeps getting higher and every year that we uh done this i think i said on two occasions that we had someone take advantage of it and we caught it and never happened and matter of fact one, we stopped it and didn't go anywhere. And in the second one, we actually gave everything back because we found out it was a fraud and we stopped it. So we do our best to make sure that we cross our T's and dot our I's and we don't just go and your hard money to giving the people and it's either double dip, triple dip because they're just doing that to everybody. No, we are understanding. We know that you guys are work hardworking people. Your money doesn't just grow on trees, and we do our best to make sure that we give you all the information because we rely on you guys to make this happen. We don't have big organizations that have grants coming to us. We don't have big corporations that we can count on on a residual. We don't have that. So this is what makes it happen is the Wilmington community and the surrounding neighboring areas because we have uh, donors that come outside of Wilmington that believe in what we're doing. We have donors that come and donate from Palm Springs. We have people that come donate from San Francisco. And so uh, to sit there and have that kind of reach is really, really cool and good. And so to sit there and reach my story there, this is why we do what we do and hopefully duplicate this, okay? If you guys want to donate, here all the, all the stuff is on our website. You can donate to Cash App or Venmo or PayPal. So that way you guys can go ahead and see how easy it is. Everything has a needy Wilmington in it with the logo. If you have to do Zelle, reach out to me, and I'll give you my personal Zelle. Then I'll put it in the account because Zelle is uh, something that we're working on. And uh, unfortunately, um, the bank that we have, which is self-help, doesn't have Zelle. So if you want to do a direct deposit to the account, which is self-help credit union Wilmington, the routing information is all there. But unfortunately, they don't do Zelle. Uh, thank goodness that they started doing um, automatic deposit, which is kind of cool. But, uh, you know, like through the camera and stuff. But as far as anything else, <clears throat> if you want to send a check, you can do that. Needy Wilmington Corp. And you send it and it takes a while to get here. But that's all open as well, too. So that's pretty much um, that. So to give you guys how much input that we're getting, so we started with 39 families, 193 members. Again, 39 families, 193. That's what we started with in the beginning of the year because pretty much after Thanksgiving, 22 families, um, 85 members were adopted. 
We still have 17 families on our website, okay? 180 of those need to get adopted, okay? So do it with somebody, do it with a partner, do it with a coworker. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We worked uh, really, really hard and prayed that we can get an extension, and we did. Um, remember, these uh, teachers and staff and administrators have their own jobs already at the school, okay? They're not here just for us. They have a job to do, which is called their Winter Academy. They're trying to help these kids, whatever they are behind, whatever they need to get to the next grade, toward on track to graduation. And so they already have a job. So anything here is considered extra and from the kindness of their hearts. So please, when you make your don when you don't when you drop the things off with complete respect and 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 and, and appreciation, when you take things over there, follow the guidelines, follow the hours that are on there. OK, and make sure that, you know, you work with them to let them know this is for uh, either ASB, which, of course, is the academic student body, Mr. Reyes or CP Magnet, uh, Ms. Rodriguez or Ms. Osorio. OK, so uh, follow those hours. Do not go any, any earlier or any later because that's it. OK, they're trying to work with us. They are there are the kind of their heart to help these students achieve and having us part of doing that. So they know it's something that is going to be beneficial. It's going to help them be well-rounded. It helps them on, on vacation. They have something extra to eat. So that's the reason why they're working with us. We should have cut off today, but they saw that we were so, so close and donations are starting to come come in that they said, okay, you know, talking to, they all talked to one among, among themselves and they said, okay, we will go ahead and do this on until Wednesday, but the cutoff is 12 o'clock noon. So you guys have today, tonight, Saturday, Sunday. And if you're ready to get your stuff off, please go drop it off because they'll start sorting. Okay, don't wait till the last minute. If you're able to do it, drop it off Monday. Okay. If the Monday's not available, Tuesday. And then absolutely the last day is Wednesday. That's it. Okay. If you're going to be dropping something off because you want to, it ain't going to happen until next year. And, I mean, that's going to be something that, you know, you're going to have to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one if you And we've only had one person do that in the five years that we did it. Um, they brought stuff over, and it is what it is. And so we kept it in the home closet and helped out. But, you know, it is what it is to, in order to make this work. All these guidelines, all these rules, all these things that we do to make it work, because we have to make sure that everything is in place and, of course, easy and works with everybody, okay? All right, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for being part of the live broadcast again. If you guys missed it, please make sure that you guys are following and watch this and check everything on the website. This is going to be updated, uploaded on the YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You'll never know when it's over, over. All that I know is good. Let's do this, guys. We can do this. Watch for the next update. Feel the 